Hey there guys and welcome to the new Let's Play. One person guessed it correctly, it is Jurassic The Hunted. A fairly old dinosaur FPS game released on PS3 and Wii, I think. It's pretty fun. Mayday! Mayday! This is Dr. James Sabres of the research vessel Sabrina. We have run aground on an uncharted land. Sorry about that, Doc. Bumpy ride, huh? The Bermuda Triangle, and I'm looking for a freaking ghost ship. Wonderful. Don't mind him, Dr. Cyrus. Aconite security appreciates your business. Dylan just gets punchy when he flies. What exactly should we be looking for, Dr. Cyrus? Your father's ship was lost 30 years ago. If there's a wreck to find... Cyrus? <laughs> Well, does that look like a promising story to you? Honestly, the story in this game is so bad it's good. It's kind of one of those games, like an 80s action movie. Anyway, it's a dinosaur game. There's not that many of them these days, so I figured I'd play it. What the heck was that? By the look of things, that would be a very big dinosaur. Okay, right stick to look around, left stick to walk. And there are no subtitles. God damn it, first God of War, now this. Ah, uh, and honestly, I wouldn't. I would have minded some subtitles earlier with that uh, audio transmission. That was garbled as hell. But whatever, just uh, kind of walking around. The environments look pretty decent. It's a fairly. It's a few years old. I think this game came out in two thousand nine, perhaps earlier. I remember wanting it for ages, but it was never released in Europe for some reason. But luckily, I got one of my lovely fans to send it to me from America, the land of opportunity. Hey, there's a guy here, and he's dead. That's Monty's flight jacket, but that's impossible. These bones are years old. What the foxtrot's happening here? Oh, ho, 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 it's going to be one of those games. No swearing, so we'll do the next best thing. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this already. But honestly, the main character is pretty much your standard dumb meathead action hero. Not that that's a bad thing. I mean, it can be amusing at times. Oh, there's the plane. I'm guessing. Or at least some plane. I don't know if it's our plane, it's a plane. And look, there's a gun placed conveniently on that chest. Ha just happened to land there when the plane crashed. Well, let's go get it, because... What are we going to do with an FPS without a gun? I've got to regroup with the team. Find Rock, find the doctor, and then figure out where we've landed. Why is he talking to himself? He's not talking to anyone else. Oh, crap. That's a raptor. Nope. Ooh, that's, uh... That'd be pretty cool on the 3DS, actually, those visuals. Punch him in the face. Yeah, you better run. See, this guy is such a macho man, he just punches raptors in the face and they, they're they scared of him now. And all we have is a wimpy- oh crap, there's more. Shoot him! Oh, they're, they're still running away. Oh, that one's coming. No, 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 no. Ooh, one shot, one kill. Now, I'm gonna say this in advance, I suck at first-person shooter games. Also, pistol whip of Velociraptor. Nice. Whoa. Okay, then. So, taking a page out of Portal's book all of a sudden? Oh look, it's a dead dinosaur. It looks like a... dinosaur! There's got to be a logical explanation. Pull it together, Dylan. Okay, so his name is Dylan. That's good, I hadn't caught that yet. And what do we have here? An empty chest. Okay, I remember... that dinosaur... Well, I don't remember what it's called. 
And I like a really long, complicated name, I think. It was in the second Jurassic Park movie. Don't remember exactly what its name was. Oh, hello. Ooh, an assault rifle. That's more like a triangle to change weapons. Oh, there's something burning over there. What do we have here? Some weird time travel stuff going on. The Bermuda Triangle. Nothing good ever happens there. Rock! This is Dylan. I'm here. What's your 20? Over. Come in, Rock. This is Dylan. I'm reading you, but there's some kind of interference. Over. Rock, I'm reading you, man, but another one of those freaky storms is breaking you up. Repeat last. No other survivors. Do not attempt it. Too dangerous. Stay away. Damn it, Rock! This is Dylan. Do you read me? Okay, I didn't catch all. Of oh crap! Didn't catch all of that. So the game definitely could use some subtitles. And I'm probably just better off meleeing these things. Eh. At least they're tiny raptors. Because there are probably way bigger things out here. Oh, damn it. Jumpy little bastards, aren't they? Oh, got him. Oh, he's not dead now. Damn, these little guys are vicious. Surprisingly bulletproof, these things. A campsite in the middle of the jungle? Great. Then again, knowing Rock. Knowing Rock what? We don't know this character. We don't know any of his past exploits. So don't assume that we do. Oh, this story is going to be so bad. But that's also kind of why I'm playing this game. Because it's so bad, it's hilarious. Gameplay-wise, it's okay. It's made by Activision. It's kind of similar to the Call of Duty, like the earlier Call of Duty games. Gameplay-wise, I believe, even though I've never played them. So I'm just assuming that. It just looks and feels very similar. And that was a pterodactyl. And I'm gonna up the sensitivity a little because aiming is way too slow. With enemies that are as fast as dinosaurs, you're gonna need faster aim. And what is this? Okay, like some x ray. Oh. Oh, it does recharge. Okay, good. I'm starting to worry that I wasted it right there. But no need to worry. Oh, man. What the heck are these things? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say they're dinosaurs. Just slightly bigger than the other ones. I think I like the small ones better. Yeah, they're probably some other species of Velociraptor or some. Oh crap, there's another one. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Damn. That thing, how big would that one be? Like two, three meters in length, maybe? I don't know how much that is in feet for you silly Americans in your silly imperial measurement system. Anyway, moving on. It's a kind of linear game. It's not much of an, an open world to explore, so that's a bit of a bummer. Oh crap, they are definitely going to swoop at me or something. Oh, there we go, got him. Oh, look, he's hanging from the tree. Nice ragdoll physics. Oh, and now he's gone. Okay, bodies don't linger around an awful long time. Oh, well, I can live with that. Oh, hello, we have a couple of brachiosauruses. So there are herbivores in this place. Now, if I were Rock, I'd find something easy to spot. A cargo ship. In the middle of the bloody jungle. Guess one of the portals must have sent that thing straight to here. That big cargo ship has got to be around here. What? Well, we just saw that it was... Oh. Freaking pterodactyl, we just saw that the cargo ship was just in a straight bloody line. How could you possibly lose your directions? Does not make sense. In the, you just had to cross that big plane and it was right there. Oh crap. Oh. So they sometimes attack you. Good to know. Keep that in the back of my head. Pterodactyls, sometimes a risk, not all the time. Can I get him? Oh crap. Nice. Only wasted four bullets on him. Not, oh crap. Not bad. I'm kind of expecting a few jump scares here and there. I mean, it's a dinosaur game. They're not entirely out of place in those. 
Like dinosaur jumps out of the bushes. Pretty, pretty decent jump scare. What do we have here? That was some freaky parking. Dinosaurs. I hope that weapon still works. And I hope whoever's voicing this guy wasn't actually being paid to do this. I mean, Jesus Christ. Okay, so they are indeed Velociraptors. The game confirms that. Ooh, big explosions. Michael Bay approves. And the minigun is surprisingly lacking. I mean, how would that thing even get to creep up so close to me? And they're surprisingly... Oh crap, pterodactyls as well. All the dinosaurs are teaming up against me. I mean, don't they have better things to do? Animals aren't that, like, aggressive in real life. I mean, sure, we don't know what dinosaurs were like in real life, but it's a logical assumption. I mean, why would they go around attacking everything in sight? That's just stupid. Lions and tigers and crocodiles don't do that. So why would dinosaurs do that? Does not make sense, but it makes for decent action games, I suppose, so I'll let it slide. Oh, and... Oh, it's not empty. Good. Where did he get the extra clip of bullets, though? Or is that just lying around? Oh, jeez. Got a nice little uh, close-up of his raptor nuts there. Even though they probably didn't have those, or at least didn't have them on the outside. Okay, to the boats. Kinda wonder who made these spiked barricades. Are there gonna be cavemen in this place as well? I mean, it seems to be some sort of time travel mess story, like pulling stuff here from all ages. So I wouldn't be too surprised if we got like a caveman at some point. Oh, what do we have? A rifle. Okay, now that looks old as hell. And you actually can carry as many guns as you find, it seems. Gonna guess that thing's like a single shot weapon. I'm not really too much of a fan of those because they require a lot of accuracy, which I'm generally not very good at. So I think I'll just stick to the assault rifle for most of the time. <laughs> Rock, this is Dylan. Over. Dylan, I can't believe it's you. I almost stopped looking for you. Gotta make this fast before we lose signal again. I'm with Dr. Sayrus, camped on a volcanic ridge. Dr. Sayrus? Hey, you tell the good doctor. Dylan, we're in deep, man. What happened to Sayrus Senior back in 83 is happening to this whole place. It's voodoo, man. The creatures here, they're dinosaurs. Dude, these are just big lizards. Don't start freaking out on me. I'm well, not freaking out, man. You'll see when we meet. Sailors has a feeling that the last place is Charlie Fox tried. We're in a camp to the north. You can't miss it. Rock! Rock! You read me? Rock! Getting real tired of those garbled audio transmissions already. I mean, subtitles, is it that much to ask for? What if... Oh, crap. That did not look like a raptor. Let's go and uh, have a closer look. What that thing was. Oh! It's a Dilophosaurus. And apparently they're taking... They're kind of following the Jurassic Park school of how to do your Dilophosaurus with the frills and the projectile spitting and stuff, which they didn't actually have in real life. So, well... I guess lots of people saw Jurassic Park, so maybe they'd remember them like that. And I seem to be stuck here. Uh, you know what? We'll just get out of this pit in the next episode of Jurassic the Hunted. Hope you're excited for it, because it's going to be one hell of a ride. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.